Hey guys, I hope everybody had a fantastic Thanksgiving and everything turned out delicious. I know we're all pretty cooked out at the moment, so I thought instead of doing a recipe this week, I would share with you a gift guide. So here is a little roundup of some of my favorite gifts for the foodies in your life. And if you're the foodie, you might wanna just pass this video around and give people a few hints. All right, let me show you what's on tap. Okay, first up, an apron. An apron is one of those things that kind of go the way of the dish towel. You end up using just kind of the ratty one that you have at home. But I think as we get into the holidays, it's always so nice to have a beautiful apron because your host or hostess can wear it while they're entertained. I find when I'm hosting a party, the apron kind of becomes like part of the outfit. <laughs> and I especially love these designs by Coda. This is a company that I recently discovered that makes the most high quality, beautiful apron made from organic cotton here in the US and they just have so many great features to them, such as the metal grommets, those beautiful cotton strappings, and then of course the leather detail that you see on the trim and also on the back, which I think is a really fun detail. And I love aprons with pockets and these aprons come with all kinds of pockets. I use them to store my phone in, which is really handy, especially during Christmas when all the relatives start FaceTiming in. <laughs> we don't wanna miss those calls. But I also use my phone as a timer, and I don't know if you guys do this, but it's really handy to have your timer with you. You can also stash a pencil, a recipe card, whatever you need on hand as you're running around the party and the kitchen. Okay, next up, I really love this beautiful garlic keeper. I think that this is something that would be a really terrific hostess gift if you're heading to somebody's house for the holidays. It's a beautiful piece that you use to keep your garlic in. So a lot of people will mistakenly put the garlic in the little plastic produce bag and throw it in the fridge, and that actually leads to moldy garlic and garlic that will sprout. So garlic is actually best stored in a dry, dark place like your countertop in a little vessel like this. And you'll see it has the ventilation holes to allow for air to flow through. I love that beautiful wooden top. And the fact that it's shaped like a little garlic bulb is just too cute. Okay, next up, this is the perfect gift for the baker in your life. I'm completely obsessed with these new Silpat baking molds. Have you guys seen these? <laughs> now you might be familiar with Silpat. They're a French company that makes those baking mats that you bake cookies on. Well, now they have come up with a whole line of baking molds. And when I saw them, I thought, wow, how did this not exist before? This is completely genius. They come in all these different designs, such as the mini muffins, mini loaves, and look how cute these mini fluted cakes are. And then it also comes in a regular muffin size. All you do is take the Silpat mold, put it on a baking sheet, and then fill it up with your favorite muffin recipe. And there's no need to grease the mold or put in any papers. The nonstick surface allows them to just pop right out. I think it's beautiful when you do some sort of fruit muffin, like a blueberry muffin, because then you can see the beautiful blueberries inside. Okay, next up, for the grill master in your family, I really love this tool set from Cuisinart. It's a fantastic 14-piece set that includes just about everything you need, such as a chef spatula for burgers, grill tongs for chicken or ribs, a silicone basting brush, which is really handy for lathering on that barbecue sauce, with a cleaning brush to clean off all that extra barbecue sauce, as well as an extra head, which is really nice for the brush, which you might actually need towards the end of the summer and four pairs of corn holders. I think this makes such a lovely gift because it all packs up in this really nice aluminum case. It's so compact, you could also bring it on a camping trip. Okay, next up, I'm in love with this wooden trivet. This is a product that actually comes from my own shop. Not only is it beautiful, so it looks like a piece of sculpture sitting on your table, those little oak logs separate and you can stretch it to make it adjustable. So if you have a large baking casserole, it will accommodate that too. I also love this white ceramic baking dish. I think it is so beautiful. It's really well made and it's also available in the shop. I think the two together would make a fantastic gift. Okay, next up for the environmentally conscious cook. I mean, shouldn't that be all of us really at the end of the day? But I was so inspired by this product. It is a set of reusable cloth produce bags. And when I saw them, I thought, now this is a product whose time has come. Why haven't these been invented sooner? You also get a large swaddle cloth, which you can use to wrap up lettuce or bread from the farmer's market or anything that's just a little bit too big to fit in the bag. I love this idea of bringing my own cloth produce bags to the supermarket because I can fit so much more in them. They don't tear or break, and there's none of that running around in the grocery store looking for the plastic bags. I don't know why, but these cloth bags just make grocery shopping so much more enjoyable. I go through with my little cart and my little cloth bags, and I love to just put things in them. So much so when we get in the car to go to the grocery store, my kids always say, Mom, do you have your cloth produce bags? Because they know how much I love them. And I get really sad when I get to the store, and they don't have my bags. 
And then to round out your eco-friendly gift idea, you could also include a set of these wonderful reusable food wrap sheets by a company called Bees Wrap. These are a natural alternative to plastic wrap or aluminum foil. And how they work is it's basically cloth that has been covered in beeswax. And then the warmth from your hands activates the wax and allows it to stick to things. So you can use it to cover containers, you can use it to cover fruits or vegetables if you've cut into them and you just need to wrap them up to store in your fridge. And then to clean them, you just rinse under cold water. You don't wanna actually put hot water on top of it because the beeswax will melt. You don't wanna wrap things like meats in it, things that have a lot of bacteria that would need the hot water. And then you just hang them on a dish rack and allow them to dry and they dry really quickly. And then you can fold them up and put them in your drawer for next time. Okay, next up for the foodie in your life that also loves yoga, might I introduce you to the yoga cat. I love this little guy. He also functions as a paper towel holder. This is actually my second yoga cat because I dropped the first one on the floor and he broke. <laughs> but now I'm happy he's back again. He's so cute. He looks like a little piece of sculpture. So if you don't have any paper towels at the moment, he actually is fine just sitting there on your countertop. And when I walk into my kitchen every morning and I see him in his little downward cat pose, he just warms my heart. I mean, come on, how cute is he? Okay, next up for the cheese lover in your life, I am loving this little wooden cheese grater. I just think it's the chicest thing. It's a grater encased in wood, and when you grate the cheese, you then open the little drawer and guests can help themselves. I think this would make a really great hostess gift idea, especially if you paired it with some really great high quality Parmesan cheese. Okay, next up for the big presents. I know that there are always those people in your life that you wanna get something just a little bit bigger for, someone like your parents, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, you name it. I think these three items would make any foodie ecstatic. So for the Sunday morning breakfast enthusiast, I think you can't go wrong with an all-clad waffle iron. I've had mine for a number of years. My husband gave it to me as a Mother's Day present a few years ago, and I just love it. and just makes the most beautiful waffles. It is a little on the spendy side, but in my opinion, it is worth every penny because you will probably never need another waffle iron. Okay, now my second high ticket item that would make a fantastic gift for any foodie in your life is a Le Creuset Dutch oven. This is another coveted piece of kitchen equipment and for good reason. It is really the pot to end all pots. I really love the five quart size. I find that they're really the most useful, especially anytime I'm making soups or stews, you can make a big batch. I even bake bread in mine. They are so fantastic and you can make just about anything in it. Now, if the cook in your life already has this pot, I would say the next piece in their collection should be the Le Creuset Brazier. This is another beautifully made piece that you can do so many things with. You certainly can braise meats in it. I use it every year to cook my coco van that I make around Christmas time. You can saute vegetables in it, make sauces in it. Now I typically choose red for all of my Le Creuset pieces because I use them so much around the holiday time that when you bring them to the table, they fit right in. They're already dressed for the holidays. But they do come in a rainbow of colors, and I do mean rainbow. You can find just about any color under the sun. <laughs> so if red's not your thing, you'll find something else. Okay, next up, for the old school sentimental cook, like someone like myself, they might appreciate a recipe box. So I recently launched a limited edition of recipe boxes, and they also come with 25 of my most favorite recipes as cards. I know that recipe boxes feel really old school, but I'm telling you there's still a place for them in our society, especially in this digital age. In some way, I feel that they're more important. If you haven't seen my video telling the story of my own recipe box tradition in my family, you can click the annotation and get caught up and there you can understand more why I love a recipe box. I think this would be a great gift idea for somebody new in your family, which is how the tradition began in my family. So if you have a new sister-in-law, brother-in-law, somebody who's new to the clan, you might fill it with some of your family's favorite recipes and make them feel welcome. And finally, if you're looking for some good discounts this season, you can head to my shop and look at my sale bin. There are some great things in there that you could get at a good price, like old subscription boxes, some former products that were in some of these subscription boxes. And two of my favorites that we still have stock on are the Packet Freezer Tote. I just love this product. I think it's so fantastic. And they're still available. Or maybe some of those beautiful French lemonade bottles, which I think would be nice to fill with some flavored olive oils or vinegars. They're being sold as a pair right now, so they would make a really great gift idea. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoy the long weekend. Happy shopping. I hope this guide has been helpful. And if you have any questions on any of the products, leave me a comment and I'll be sure to give you my two cents. All right, you guys, I'll see you back here next time. Until then, bye.